Howdy guys, Army of Otters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Pimp Boy 3 billion in Fallout New Vegas. This is a part of the quest, How Little We Know. For this quest, I'd recommend you have a high sneaker, a stealth boy, along with 53 speech or 300 caps. You really need 400, but you'll get 100 caps throughout the uh, end point in the quest. Also, having 60 barter would be helpful. Anyways, uh, to begin this quest, I would recommend going to Mick and Ralph's and talk to uh, Mick and ask him how his business is doing. And he and should say better. that things were better when the Omeras were buying. That's the th so basically, for this quest to become active, you do have to uh, progress to a certain point in the story, either with Mr. House or Yes Man. Yes Man is probably the quickest way because he'll tell you everybody you need to investigate, which is the Omeras eventually. But it, it's pretty early on for House 2 where he tells you to investigate the Omeras as well. Hey, anyway, so dude. go to the Gomera once you've talked to Mick, and you're going to want to talk to the receptionist because that's who Benny used to get his information from. But so is following in Benny's footsteps, go ahead and talk to the receptionist. I'm... And tell her that I'm you looking uh, are looking for information. And she'll tell you to talk to Kachino, so now we're going to go talk to Kachino. And real quick, as we walk to Kachino, one thing I need to clear up is there are multiple ways to complete this quest. Uh, if you follow my walkthrough, you will get the Pimp Boy 3 billion, you will make Mr. House happy, and you'll make the Strip happy. But you will kill, like, the actual, um, Omeritas, like the guys hey, mainly in charge, like Big Sal. I don't give so Kachino's gonna get pissed at you, and this is why we need the high sneak or a stealth boy. I have a really low sneak, so I just use the stealth boy. Also, you notice I saved, just in case I were caught. Anyways, uh, do whatever works for you. I use my stealth boy. You're gonna want to pickpocket Kachino, and you're gonna steal his journal. And you're gonna go talk to him again and confront him with the information in the journal. You again? Where the fuck did you get? And this is where 60 bar would come in helpful. Um, you could get more caps than just 100. But anyways, uh, once you go to the screen, I didn't realize this at the time, but you can just sell the journal back to him. In fact, that's kind of what you want to do. Because that's what the quest tells you to do. So anyways, as you can see, I sold the journal back to him. Got 100 caps. And then you're going to want to talk to Troik. Troik can be a little difficult to find, so just follow my path. And you'll, uh, I'll lead you right to him. Business is good. So with Troik, whatever you do, do not say Kachino sent me to ask you about some guns. Do not say that. Oh, say, tell okay. me about what happened with the prostitute. If you say um, Kachino sent me, then Troik's going to freak out and it's going to hurt you. And I don't think you can actually get the pimp boy if you say that. So don't say that. To, uh, ask him about the prostitute and then says Troik would like to leave the Emeritus and that you now you need to go talk to uh, Big Saul to negotiate him out of his contract. So this is why you need the forty, uh, the 53 speech, the 45 barter, or the 400 caps, because in order to get Troik out of his contract, you're going to need one of those. I have the 53 speech, so I'm not going to give him my caps, and that's how I got him out of his contract. Again, do whatever fits you. So once you get uh, Troik out of his contact, return to Troik and tell him that he is now free to go. And there's also some specific dialogue that you need to talk to him about, so just follow what I say. You again. Holy shit. 
they're keeping them in a little utility. I don't know what they're arming themselves. As a little pet project, I've been making some thermal. I've been keeping it so if the... Okay. So make sure Troy gives you the thermite. And before I do that though, I just decided to go ahead and get the Pimpoy, three billion. So um, I'm, you're gonna see me go to Making Rouse, pick it up, and then we're gonna complete the rest of the quest. Welcome back. Outstanding. So the Pimpoy 3 billion is just gold and diamond version of the Pipboy, but I think it's pretty cool. And something I've always kind of struggled with getting for some reason. I don't know why I've always I never really cared for this quest. But anyways, once you have the Pimpoy, you can go back to the Gomera and you're gonna to want to go back down to where Troik was. And you're going to want to go in like the like the mechanical door that's just kind of out of place. You're going to want to go in there, and you're going to want to light the uh, or set the thermite and then detonate it, and the uh, all the weapons will melt. So after you destroy the weapons cache, you're gonna to want to go talk to Kachino, and you're gonna also want, and he's gonna say, "Hey, Big Saul's pissed at you," and he's gonna try and kill you. But Kachino's on your side, and he's gonna give you a sawed-off shotgun to help you kill Big Saul and his uh, uh, partner. Anyways, it's actually they're both really easy to kill, so it's sh you shouldn't struggle with it at all. Hey, what can I do for you? Whoa, you managed to pull that off? So now we cut off the head. As long as they're alive, they can start up their plans again. All you've managed to do is... They're a little bit upset about what's been done to muck up their plans. The tap... There isn't gonna be another chance to get both of them together in the same... Anyways, I sped this up because you're just supposed to follow Kachino, but it takes forever. So I didn't want you to have to sit through it twice because it is kind of boring. Anyways, once you get upstairs, you're going to go sit in an office and Big Saul's going to confront you and he's going to tell you to sit on the couch. As soon as you sit on the couch, he's going to shoot you. I mean, you know, they're both holding a gun. It's kind of suspicious. But anyways, you can sit on the couch like I did and uh, then you're just going to have to shoot him really quick. Take a seat on the couch. Let's have a bit of power. So I asked. Yeah, we lost some guns, you little. Hey! So once you kill him, you will have completed the quest, how little we know, and you will have now have the access to switch between the Pip-Boy and the Pimpfoy 3 billion, along with making Mr. House happy and gaining uh, a better reputation on the strip. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.